Fish were the first vertebrae that appeared on Earth. Vertebrates are animals with backbone. Being the first vertebrates on the planet, fish provided the basic body plan subsequently elaborated by hundreds of millions of years of evolution. So according to science, your great, great, great multiply by a billion grandmother was a small, meek fish of the Devonian period. Although most paleontologists wouldn't recognize them as true fish, the fish like creatures to leave an impression on fossil appeared during the Middle Cambrian period about 530 million years ago. Fishing is an ancient practice dating back to 40,000 years. Since the 16th century, fishing vessels have been able to cross oceans in pursuit of fish and since the 19th century it has become to use larger vessels Fishing in the modern times has provided employment to over 500 million people worldwide. Fish has two major varieties, freshwater and saltwater fish, but they are divided into three basic groups, which include cartilaginous fish, bony fishes, and low-finned fishes. Sharks and rays have skeletons made from cartilage not bone. The cartilage skeletons are more flexible than bone. Fishes are cold-blooded ectothermic animals. Their internal body temperature is therefore the same as the surrounding water. Some species are referred to as diodromos. They are further described by the direction of their migration because some species of fish migrate between fresh water and marine environments to spawn. Fish that migrate from the sea to fresh water to spawn, for example, salmon, are described as anadromos. Fish that migrate from freshwater environment to the sea to spawn are referred to as catadromos. The evolutionary history of fish continued with the dominance of the jawed fish, who were super predators. They dominated throughout the Silesian period for several dozen millions of years. Fish are largely distinguished from other animals by the adaptation to the environment, which is of course water. Fish physiology differs in some key ways from the physiology of animals that inhabit their kind the major differences lies on how fish breathe or obtain oxygen and how they move through water. Like animals on ground, fish need oxygen to survive. The only problem is that water has only 2% of the amount of oxygen contained in air. In addition, oxygen levels decrease as water gets warmer and polluted or stagnant water has less oxygen as well. Fish get oxygen mainly through gills by opening and closing their mouth. Fish move in water with their gills which are filled with thousands of tiny blood vessels that absorb oxygen and send it into the bloodstream. A few fish can take in oxygen in other ways. Fishes have lots of muscles that enables them to swim in water because water has lots of density. Fish remain buoyant and move up and down in water by decreasing or increasing the amount of air in their swim bladders. Some fish also use their swim bladder in intensifying sound. Most fish have a protective covering of scales made out of calcium which protects fish from injury and sickness. Another important adaptation of fish is the staying power. It can stay hydrated and retain a lot of water and proper salt balance, which is a special challenge for saltwater fish. Ingesting too much salt is not good, so saltwater fish drink an excrete salt 
through their urine and gills. Freshwater fish take in water through their gills and skin and then pass it out also. In Nigeria, fish meals are enjoyed everywhere. Pepper soup is one of the most sought out fish meal, especially in the Niger Delta areas. Fish and stews are off the planet, very delicious. Among so much nutrients you can get from fish, fish provides protein to the body and protein, as we know, helps to build the body blocks. Hmm, bon appetit.